animal advocates say this is a game changer. The ordinance will ban the selling of dogs and cats that have been bred, but in less than desirable conditions like puppy mills and Louisville businesses like pet stores or outdoor spaces like flea markets. It passed Metro Council with a 21 to 3 vote. We have accomplished a major win in our city and it takes a village every single time and the more people who stand up for animals, the more change that can happen. Michelle Lawson, the founder of Kentucky Animal Action, says the ordinance is paving the way for change in Kentucky. Similar laws exist in Elizabethtown and Radcliffe, and they're now being considered in other cities. But efforting this change, she says, took years of advocacy. Legislators are voted on by us, and they are put in place to represent us. But they can only represent us if they know what's important to us. So they need to know that animals are important to us. And if they know that, then they can properly represent us when they go when they go to vote on things like this ordinance. Although the ordinance passed Metro Council Thursday, it will not go into effect until this time next year. In the meantime, stores will be required to display where animals are from. I'm Megan Matthews, WLKY News.